Morgan Shepard led this race. He has led it today. He finished 13th. He said it was that win. Oh, oh, oh. out of control goes Kenza. And oh, over on his roof. Get back on the wheel. <laughs> a wild ride for the Daytona 500. It looks like he may get a tap. Yeah, he gets a oh, tap yeah. from David Reagan. Yep. Car gets out of shape and then just oh, pirouettes man. on its left side and goes over. And we talk about the bump drafting has to be done on the straightaway. And you can see, even on the straightaway, if you get hit too hard, it just takes the steering wheel out of your hands as a driver. This was the scary part right here when he's on his roof for so long. Looked for a minute like he might save it, but then got down there. Golly, this is tough. Yeah, and Matt really did a great job. If he goes up in front, he takes out 15 or 18 cars, so he did a great job of, of not creating that situation. Let's see what Dale Earnhardt Jr. saw here as the contact took place right in front of him. Everybody jockey for position here. Oh, Matt, it's a three wide, three wide, three wide, three wide inside. The of the 18. Break it down. John West Townley going by. You see, he sees Kenseth's car just rolling over side by side. And you could see in that last shot from Dale Jr.'s that it literally lifted the, the back of the car off the ground whenever David Reagan. A strange way to see one flip. You don't normally see him do that. No, but these cars have a liftoff point of getting off the ground of about 170 miles an hour. And no matter, with even with all these safety innovations that NASCAR has put into these cars, you still, these cars get in that right situation or wrong situation. That's getting the perfect spot, yeah. yeah. Second time in three years we've seen a car go on its roof here. Two years ago it was Kyle Busch.